Now, a few physical features of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Okay, so this narration is mentioned in Abu Dawood Sharif, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, "Al Mahdi yuminni," that the Mahdi is from me, meaning from my lineage. Okay, Ajl al Jabha, he will have a broad forehead, or he will have a shiny forehead, wa aqn al anf, and he will have a High bridge nose, a long nose. يملأ الأرض قسطا وعدلا كما ملعت ظلما وجورا أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام. Okay, so the Prophet sallallahu has told us two physical features here regarding Imam Mahdi that he will have a broad or a shiny forehead and he will have a long nose, a prominent nose. Okay, and then it is written in. Kitab al Isha'a, this is a book, very famous book, which compiles all the different major signs of the Day of Judgment. Here it is written regarding the physical attributes and features and descriptions of Imam Mahdi. Number one, he says that his place of birth will be Medina Munawwara. So Imam Mahdi will be born in Medina Munawwara, and this is mentioned by Hazrat Ali. Okay, so when he is born in Medina Munawwara, he is born in Saudi Arabia. What do you expect? You expect the Imam Mahdi also to speak which language? Arabic. Arabic. Okay, you expect him to talk Arabic. Now there's a, a clip of a man. Okay, like I've told you, there are a few people who claim to be Mahdi. There have been many, many people who claim to be Mahdi. And believe me, there will be many people afterwards who will claim to be Mahdi as well. So there was this one man, he came on, I think it was Peace TV, and he says, I have an announcement to make. Okay, just uh, from the audience, he says, I have an announcement to make. I am the Mahdi. So now the scholar that was there, he caught him out and he said, okay, okay. If you are the Mahdi, then the Mahdi will be able to talk Arabic. So, can you talk Arabic? Now, this man was originally Bangladeshi. So, for a minute, he, he gets stuck and he thought, okay, I don't know Arabic. What am I going to do? Then he has an idea and he says, yes, I can talk Arabic. He puts his hands out like this and he says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. He starts reading Surah Fatiha and says, I can talk Arabic. See? So, that's not what it, the scholar meant. He'll be able to talk fluent Arabic, normal Arabic. But he started reading the Quran Sharif, that yes, I can talk Arabic. And he even made mistakes in there as well. So, we expect the Imam Mahdi, if he's born in Medina Munawwara, to talk Arabic, fluent Arabic, not just Quran Sharif, actual Arabic. Okay? He is, then Imam Mahdi will later on migrate towards Baytul Maqdis, which is in? Yes, Jerusalem and Palestine. Okay? Then, a few more physical attributes of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is that he will be slightly brown or wheatish in color and he will be thin min rijal and he will be medium height okay not too short not too tall he will be medium height and he will have a thick beard okay he will have a thick beard and he is also going to have a slight stutter in speech Sometimes when he is delayed in his speech, he is going to strike his left thigh with his right hand. Okay? He's going to so he can actually get out what he wants to say. And when he emerges as the Mahdi, what age will he be? He will be roughly between 30 to 40 years old. He will be about 40 years old. Okay? Same age that our Prophet ﷺ became a prophet.